Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yeah. All right, so we're getting straight into it. Straight into it. We use some um, Mia Secret Dehydrator. Now we prime it with some Young Nails Primer. And then we're going to come back and use some No Lift Nail Primer. Mm hmm. Yep, we're getting straight into it. Straight into it. All right. All right, y'all, excuse the angles. They're going to keep changing just a little bit, like the, uh, how close the camera is. It's like, I don't, I don't know. See, you see how they just changed? But y'all just ignore that. I'm trying to get y'all great angles. Anywho, um, the clear acrylic is from Mia Secret. The brush is Ideal Beauty. Always. You feel me? You figure deal me? Okay. Right now we're doing a thin layer of clear and a natural nail. We're going to bring it on down. It's supposed to be a, a thin layer. Uh, my thin layer don't always be that thin. But then again, it thins out because I do bring it all the way down. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But just make sure you get that clear all over the natural nail for real. Okay? And clean it up and make sure it's good. This white is called Afterglow. It's from Glam and Glitz. We're going to be doing a simple ombre. Ombre, y'all. Ombre. So you'll yeah, retain the top, keep the shape, keep the shape, and bring it on down, bring it on down. Yes, ma'am. Keep the shape though, keep the shape. And we're gonna bring it on down, bring it on down. Um, considering that this is a glow in the dark powder, I don't tend to do a lot of touching it, except for on the sides, and that's because it's super loose. Tame the top, tame the top. You see, you see, if I touch it, it just I just wasted all that acrylic. When I could have just let it bring it bring itself down. And I could have just guided it from the sides. Bring it on down. Bring it on down. And see now it's a dip at the bottom. From where the first um, bead of acrylic stops. So bring it up. Try to clean it up. Yep. Just got to fix that with some clear. Tame the top. Tame the top. Tame the top. Tame the top. Stop trying to break it down fast, girl. You're messing it up. Mm-hmm. Keep the shape. Keep the shape. Yes, ma'am. Keep the shape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go, Shawty. Clean it up. Clean it up. Get try to get rid of some of them lumps and bumps. That's the the goal is for me to try to get some of the lumps and bumps. Cause I I want the application to be smooth. And considering that this acrylic is loose, you have ample time to come back and fix it after it dries a little bit. So yeah. Next nail. Tame the top, tame the top. And you know we don't ombre because we are making sure we're taming the top really, really well. It's like making it the as thin as it can be without taking away much of the color so usually i feather it up but this is white and we're doing um a nude on top so it's not we know it's gonna cover well rephrase i know it's gonna cover you don't know until you see it but i know it's gonna cover and these are some curved tips love these tips she loves these tips she loves curved nails even though she don't want them long but she just loves the curl I mean, not the curl, but the curve. My bad. Y'all see that little dip at the end of the nail? Like, what? what is causing that? I don't know what's causing it, but it really does irritate me. So you will see me pat, 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 pat. Try to get rid of that. All right, time for the... This is a custom mix. But, of course, I already knew it was going to um, cover the white because it's darker. But, yeah. We're going to tame the top, tame the top. Tame the top. Clean it up. Bring it on down. Feather it down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I wasn't going to put this video out, but I did only because I recorded it. And it's a simple ombre. It's simple. That's all we did was ombre. We ain't do nothing extra, nothing, none of that. All right, put the bead down, put the bead down. Give it some time. All right, bring it on down. There we go. Clean off some of that white because we don't, 
We wanted to ombre um, down. We don't want it to just be like fading. I want it to be ombre, complete ombre, cute. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, turn the top, turn the top, and clean them cuticles. Seal it, seal it, seal it. Bring it on down, bring it on down. There we go. Looks good. It looks so good. All right, next nail. Be down. I should have if I had just let these sit, uh, let these beads sit a little bit longer, it wouldn't have seemed like it was so soft. Yes, ma'am. Tame it, tame it, tame it. Bring it on down, bring it on down. Yes, ma'am. Tame it, tame it, tame it. Clean it up. Y'all know the drill. Put the bead down. Push it up, push it up. Seal the cuticle with it. Seal it, seal it, seal it. Tame it, tame it, tame it. All right. It was way too much acrylic. We're going to bring it on down, bring it on down. Yes, ma'am. It's looking good. Tame it, tame it, tame it. Push it up, push it up, push it up, push it up. Seal it, seal it, seal it. Bring it on down, bring it on down. Too much. All right. There we go. All right, then. Now we're going to encapsulate it with some clear. One gigantic bead. We're going to see how we do with this. All right, tame the top, tame the top. Bring it on down, bring it on down. Tame it, tame it, clean it, making it sure it's sealed. Bring it on down, bring it on down, making sure we try to keep that shape. We like to keep the shape, baby. And look at the curve on that. Look at the curvature. I don't even know if that's a word. Even if it ain't, it should be. Because look at the curvature. Seal the top. Seal the top. Clean it up. Seal it, seal it, seal it. Gonna bring it around. Bring it around town. Bring it on down. Bring it on down. We try to keep the bead uniform on all sides. So we can keep that, um, what you call it? The thickness. I want the thickness to be unified all throughout the nail. Yes, ma'am. I think we need another bead. Yes, we do. Okay. Tame the top, tame the top. We didn't need a big one because we just needed it for the apex. There we go. There we go. Clean it up. Tame it, tame it. Seal it, seal it, seal it. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. One more bead right there. Feather it up because we kind of just want it to stay where it's at. There we go. Clean it up, clean it up. Keep the shape. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Tame it top, seal it, seal it, seal it. Tame it, seal it, bring it on down. Tame it, seal it, and bring it on down. Yes, ma'am. One more bead for the apex. Mm hmm. Tame it, seal it, bring it on down. Look at that ombre. It looks so good, y'all. One big old gigantic bead. Just taper, tame it, and seal it. Tame the top of that mug. Oh, it was a dent in it. It was a, a something in it. All right, tame it, tame it, tame it. Smooth it out. And bring it on down. Mm-hmm. Clean it up. Keep the shape. One more bead at the top, at the tippity tippity top. For that apex, tame it, tame it, tame it, seal it, seal it, and bring it on down, bring it on down. Clean it up and bring it on down. 
Look at the curvature on them nails. They look so good, y'all. I love curve tips. This is a curve nail page, okay? I do other nails, of course, but curve nails is just in. It's in, it's always gonna be in. And that's just that on that. Okay, and it's period. I do want to tell y'all that we don't use Beatles top coat today. We don't. But it's okay. Because it's okay. It's just okay. I wanted to try out some new top coats. I don't know why. Beatles does me literally just fine. There's something in there. I got it. Okay. Beatles does me just fine. It really does. I don't know why. I don't know. I have no words. But bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down. Keep the shape. One more B. There we go. Look at there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They look good. Time to reshape. We're going to use our 8080 hand file, 8080 grip to hand file from Tulip Deals. Yeah, I'm reading the dang on screen for y'all. But yeah, we're going to taper it in, keeping that nail file as straight as possible, aside from when we're tapering in the sides of the nail, where the acrylic has expanded a little bit. So we're going to taper that in, and then we're going to square off the ends. And then we're going to take that nail file across the, across the, um, across the nail to get some of them. To, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't pause. We're going to take the hand file across the nail to get rid of some of them dips in the nail. You remember how I said, why is that dip at the bottom? We're going to get rid of that using this hand file, okay? Yes, ma'am. Straight, 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 straight. Taper it in. Hit the edge. Hit the edge and go on across there. Taper it in and hit the dead. Hit that, that dent at the bottom. They looking good. They looking good. We feeling them, feeling them, looking at them. All right, next nail. Taper it in, taper it in. Now we're using our E file. This is a 180 grit um, sanding band from Panna. This E file is from Melody Susie. Yes, ma'am. Look at the tips. It's the tips for me, babe. They look so good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We cutting down a bulk around the cuticle. That's what we're doing right now. I'm sorry, I didn't even tell y'all. We cutting a bulk down around that cuticle. We tapering it in some more. We hitting the bumps that we missed with our hand file. We knocking off some of the scratches from the hand file. I don't even think I went over this nail with the hand file. So you're going to see me do a little bit more work on this one. Because I did not hit this one with the, with the hand file on top. But it's okay. Because I'm going to get it. There we go. Cleaning from up under the nail real quick. Real quick, look at the curvature on them nails. Look at the apexes. Look, look how the cuticles look so flesh, flushed. However you say it, y'all like, know what I'm trying to say. They just look so good, guys. The amber is amber. Look at it. Mm, 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 mm. One more, one more file. We're gonna use our pen a bit to um seal the cuticles. Yes, ma'am. We're going to go around there. Yes, ma'am. We're going to flush, flush them things down, whatever. We're going to get them things right and tight, period. Call Hannah, because period. I know y'all enjoy the fact that my head's not in the way. Yay. My head is not in the way. We two for two, I think. I mean, I know y'all see my glasses, see my little hair. Yep. 
can bring that down some just a little bit. Looks good to me. We gonna take a little picture. I wanna do a little sun sun. Yes, ma'am. Get the little dusties off the edges. Cause the umber is umber. And that's just that on that. Cause any period. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. It looks so good. All right. Now it's time for me to top coat these things. Now, I'm using the IBD gel. I don't even know if I spelled it right when I put it up there. I might have put IDB, IBD. I don't know what it is. But I think it's the IDB gel top coat. I think it's intention, something like that. I don't know. It's okay. It's it's okay. It's not bad. It, it, it's not Beatles. I tell you that it is not no Beatles. Or maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. It just didn't give me the effect that Beatles give me. I think. Yeah, clean up the sides. Wipe the gel top coat off the sides, cause your nails will be bulky if you don't. Okay. Okay. I heard someone say that the best way. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm excuse me. Excuse me. Let me just wait till I'm finished. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So the best way to like um keep your nails like shapely and all this other stuff is do one more file at the end. File it one more time. The um cuticle oil is from Cusco. I don't know, but this is the finished product, y'all. Y'all finna see it in a minute. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that. You feel me? We add like almost 700 subscribers. Almost 700 subscribers. And I truly enjoy y'all. I enjoy talking to y'all. And the comments and my DMs. Like, I love y'all. Bye.